Have you ever wondered how fiber internet makes it to your door? Well, today we're gonna explain how we install fiber optics so you know exactly what's going on behind the scenes. Preliminary site survey. First up, we do a preliminary site survey. This is where technicians visit the neighborhoods and examine how exactly they're gonna install the fiber network. They decide whether they're gonna go aerial, just like your power lines, or underground. Step two, network design. Next comes network design. It's all about planning a perfect path for these cables. So that way they can easily handle today's internet requirements as well as the bandwidth needs of the future. Step three, pole licensing and material ordering. With the plan in hand, it's time for pole licensing and material ordering. Yes, those poles outside your house. We need an official yes before we could start hanging our cables from them. Plus, we need to order all the materials before we start working on the installation. Next is make ready work. Here, we prepare utility poles to hold the fiber optic lines. We check that each pole can support them. In some cases, we might need to replace some of the poles that aren't suitable for the installation. Following that, we proceed with strand installation. Here, we install a steel cable in between the poles, which will help support the fiber optic cables. Step six, lashing fiber cable. Once the supporting steel cable is in place, we attach the fiber optic cable to it. This process is called lashing. This way, the fiber optic network can endure whatever mother nature throws its way. You know, snowstorm, hail, rain, hurricanes, you know, firestorms. Next, we install splice and connection points. These connect the different sections of fiber optic cable and make it easier to perform repairs and upgrades to the network. Splicing fiber optic segments is up next. Here, fibers are fused together to make a clear path for data. It's high tech work that ensures that you get the speed that you're promised. Step nine, engaging potential customers. While technicians lay down the cables, we're also talking to potential customers, spreading the word about the benefits of fiber optic internet through digital marketing, community events, you know, get togethers, memes, no, <laughs> 10, installing drop cables. Installing drop cables connects the network to your home. These are smaller, flexible fiber optic cables that run from the main line to the exterior of your house. Step 11, installing electronics and activating the network. Next step, we set up the optical network terminal at your house. This little box converts the fiber optic signals into electronic signals that your devices use. And that's it. That's how we build our fiber optic networks. But if you want to learn more, you can click the link in the description below and visit our blog to get even more insights about the process. Till next time, have a good one.